Chapter 8, Going Home. Are you ready to go home? asked Chet. Andy was confused. She must have fallen asleep. Yes, she said with some regret. This place was beautiful, and now that she was sitting here, she didn't want to leave. Jet saw her look of sadness. I thought you wanted to go to work, said Jet. <laughs> I guess I should, said Andy. I'm behind on a project, and I have friends that I need to meet for lunch. And <gasps> she clapped her hand over her mouth in horror. I promised Gracie that I'd be back to pet her and give her treats before I left. Jet looked solemn. You are now the official keeper of the crystal for the purple sprites, she said. Your creative powers have no bounds as long as you keep it with you, and you will carry an endless supply of appreciation, love, and happiness. You need to come back here to refresh the crystal when it starts turning clear again, and this will keep all of us healthy and keep the green sprites away. To do that, you'll need to find the stairs again whenever it starts turning lilac. Don't let it turn clear, for that's when all the creative energy vanishes. I'm afraid that coming back means getting past the green sprites, but you'll be safe as long as you hold on to the magic crystal and as long as it remains even the palest shade of purple. Andy gazed at the crystal, which was currently a deep violet. I'll look forward to being back here again to refresh all of us, she said. Jet began counting backwards, and Andy could feel herself swirling through the air. <laughs>